Bayfinders, uh, I've got to tell you, an absolutely heaving night here in the iconic Bayfinders pub. If you've never been to the show before, come on down next Wednesday, come and hang out with us, have a glass of wine. Uh, we always love seeing um, uh, new faces here. Big issue, huge. The Finance Minister, Bill English, has vetoed the paid parental leave bill that would have extended leave from 18 to 26 weeks. Now, he says that other priorities uh, are what's more important. So I'm going to ask uh, uh, Joel first from the Young Nats. Is a financial veto, is this an abuse of democracy? Oh, no, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> The, but, 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 New, Zealand, New Zealand public went to the polls in September last year and they elected John Key to lead a government and Bill English to do the financial plan. And that's exactly why he has the power to do this. Labour and the Greens don't get to do tax and spend from the opposition benches. If they want to do it, they have to form a government. But we've got the, but they got the numbers. They got well, the numbers, they, But they, they haven't got the numbers. They've got the numbers for one spending measure, but it's Bill English who's held accountable for the surplus and the deficit for the taxing and the spending. And that's why they can't do it. All oh, right, so can't afford it. Oh, look, for, look for what it's worth. I, I will come back to the four of you. Let's just go to uh, Act First for a response and back to you guys. Hannah, tell me about your position on paid parental leave. Um, paid parental leave at the moment, as fine as it is, what we really need to be focusing on rather than extending it for everyone is, for the, is extending it for those people who really need it, those parents that have twins, that have premature births, people, children with special needs. It's much more important to actually direct it where it's most needed. But what if you're just struggling on the weight, under the weight of one child you can't afford? Don't have another? Realistically, if you cannot afford to have another child, you should not. Yeah. 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 But if we only had children when we could afford them, I don't think we'd have too many children. Look, having a child, it shouldn't be an accident, it shouldn't be a mistake. If it does happen, there are support networks there for you, but really, you should plan for it, you should be responsible for it. So, Pay, right. your, pay your student loan and then have a child? Yes, if that's what works for you. Some people are going to be starting late. OK, well... Uh, OK, Nevada, what part of what Hannah said there do you disagree with? Um, all of it. <laughs> what, the number of children being had or what? Yeah, it, it, I, I disagree with literally everything she said. I... <laughs> okay, I mean, some people, some watching this will say though that Hannah is, you know, if you can't afford children, then why have them? I, I think it, it, um, everyone has the right to to, to having a no, like it, 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 it is a human right to be able to have children if, if, if you want to have the state support you. No, Ricardo, we need we need to invest in children. It's not the children's fault that the parents decided to Absolutely. have more children that they could afford. This is once again the national government say they can't find the money. The money can be found. It is merely something that is political willingness. Uh, the money when we can let be found. multinationals get away with not that, paying their fair share, and we don't have enough taxes. Of course, we can't afford the, the, it. The money can but be found means taking it off middle class mums and dads. That means taxing it off you and I. Why no, should no, they no, do no, that? No, the doesn't. money can be taken from... Elijah, the we'll find it somewhere. It's under the couch. Defense. That's where it can be taken from. $20 billion in defence. Yet, are National actually concerned about the first six months of a child? I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, Connor, you haven't said anything. What do you make of this? Well, we do have money. We spend $26 million on a referendum that no one asked for. <laughs> do we, you know how we, many we, paid we, parental <laughs> leaves they could pay for? <laughs> Yeah, it could pay for a lot. And this is the thing, actually, it makes financial sense. You actually, in the long term, paying for more parental leave, you actually, it reduces the cost associated with not having it later on. So, for right. example, postnatal depression. You actually have increased productivity by both mums and dads in the workforce after you do it. It actually makes sense financially. All right, what about, I mean, let's, let's look at the cost of it. We're talking, the costs will nudge, I mean, they don't have a point, I mean, the Nets have a point. The costs will nudge $300 million over four years. We don't have the money. Bill Miller said the financial veto, the first in history, New Zealand history, has got to come into oh, effect. Sorry, it's, not, it's not the first in New Zealand history. Michael Cullen used it 15 times when he was ah, Labour okay. Minister of Stand, Finance. Stand corrected, all right. Never, nevertheless, nevertheless. It's a huge cost. No, it, it, it is a huge co cost, I'm not denying that, but paid parental leave is so incredibly important. We're investing in the future of New Zealand. That's right. There was um, an incredible amount of public and so governmental why? support for it, and that just shows how out of touch this government is. If it's so... 
if it is so important, why stop at 26 weeks? Why not go to Peter Dunn with 52 weeks? Because we have to start from somewhere. Well, we're starting with 18 weeks. Well, it needs to be improved, though. That no. this, 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 we need more paid parental leave, and this is a, a starting Elijah. point. No, but actually, the weeks is one thing. We need to also include whangai children, those that have parents that aren't actually, you know, parental parents. But we also need to include those that work part-time. So where's the, part okay, time. so you're in part. Where's the money coming from then? Where's the money the coming money from? The money needs to come from somewhere else. The national needs to prioritise the people of this country. It's easy to say though, isn't it? It's easy to say. Absolutely. Ricardo. This is when we talk about the cost of paid parental leave, this is actually an investment that pays itself off. We can't measure the costs of having healthy, united families. Research shows that those that, that first year is crucial for forming a healthy bond between the child and the parent. This is an investment that it will lead to a healthy life throughout the whole lifetime. We can't just measure it for what it will cost. Okay, we final, have to think about the final benefits. Final word, young, that's Joel Rowan. Final word. Well, look, I mean, it's all well and good to say that the money can be found or the government needs to prioritise. The government has found more money and they have prioritised. That's why we're increasing the refugee quota. It's the first government to all increase right, base-level benefits. OK, thank you. Thank you, Joel. And you can't have everything. All right, nice one. Very, very good.